Hello, I'm James from the Paul Reed Smith Tech Center. I'm here today to show you how to properly restring a guitar equipped with PRS locking tuners. This technique will be applicable to phase two, phase three, S2, and SE locking tuners. Before we get started today, let's go over our supplies. I've got 10 to 46 gauge strings in both signature and classic versions. I'm going to use the signature set. That's what comes on your core guitar. I have a string winder and I have a set of wire cutters. Our first step today is going to be taking the old strings off, which will give you a nice chance to wipe your guitar down and clean the fretboard and condition it. But first, this is a trem equipped guitar, so we're going to need something to stop the trem from touching the top. Luckily we have our strings here. Just going to tear this off, fold this in half, and place it under the back of the bridge. I'm using my string winder to loosen the strings and also to point the string holes towards the nut. Next is a counterclockwise turn, about half a turn is all you need. I'm cutting the ends off so that these don't get stuck in the bridge or damage the body as we pull the strings through. Wipe your guitar down and clean the fretboard and condition it. Today I'm going to string this guitar up with the PRS Signature 10 to 46 gauge guitar strings. Your strings come wrapped in three pairs. You have the sixth string and the third string, the fifth string and the second string, and the fourth string and the first string. I'm going to feed all the strings through the bridge one by one, lay the guitar back down and we can concentrate on stringing. We're going to start by pulling the low E up, lay it out, feed it through the string hole, and then bring it down and pull it so we have about two fingers or one and a half inches of slack. Our next step is to take the thumb screw and lock it down. So we're going to turn it clockwise until it tightens down and then just give it another little bump to really get it locked in place. Our next step is going to be to wind the string up. So we're going to take our string winder, start winding and make sure that the excess goes over top of the string so that our wind is underneath and you want about a half a turn to three quarters of our turn of wrap. And our last step on this string is to go ahead and clip the excess. Follow those instructions for the rest of your strings. Tune the guitar up to pitch. Make sure you stretch out your strings, set your intonation, and enjoy. For more setup tips, resources, and educational videos, please visit our support page on the prsguitars.com website. My name's James. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.